A phlebotomist draws the blood of a random sample of 50 patients and determines their blood types as shown. We want to complete parts A through E. So the first thing we want to do is we want to construct a relative frequency distribution. So we're going to open up this data in the stack crunch. So now you can see that the categorical or qualitative da data is located in variable 1. So we're going to go ahead and select stat, go down to tables, and select frequency. Now we're going to select our column, and then we're going to select relative frequency. And so here, we have a relative frequency. It doesn't ask us to put it in a percent. We're just going to put it in the decimal. So we have 0 0.38, 0 0.08. 0 0.38, 0 0.08, and then we have 0 0.12 and 0 0.42. So 0 0.12 and then 0 0.42. Now let's check our result. There's our answer. Okay, now it says, according to the data, which blood type is most common? Meaning, if we look at this as a percent, which one would have the most. Well, you can see here that 42 is 40, same as 0.42 is the same thing as 42%. That represents the highest. So therefore, the blood type was going to be O. Now, the next question says, according to the data, which blood type is least common? Which is the smallest percent? Well, the smallest percent is, in this case, is 8%, which is blood type AB. Now it says, does the results of the sample to conjecture the percentage of the population that has blood as type O blood, is this an example of descriptive or inferential statistics? And then we're going to select the correct choice below and fill in the answer. So in this case here, when we're dealing with a percent here, it's going to be inferential. And what is the percentage for the blood type O? Well, it's 42%. So let's check our answer, and there is our result. Now for Part E, it says contact a local hospital and ask them the percentage of the population that is blood type O. Why might the results differ? The results might differ because hospital patients are constantly being admitted and discharged. The results might differ because the results from the study are not likely to be similar to actual patient patients. The results might differ because there is always a chance that the sample surveyed is unlike the population. Or the results might differ because certain hospitals only treat patients if they have blood type O. So the answer is going to be C. The results might differ because there is always a chance that the sample surveyed is unlike the population.